Hey guys, today we're going to explore the minimum and maximum pan, tilt and zoom ranges and the speed of each using this mini PTZ camera by Hikvision. Since I did my initial unboxing, setup and review of this 3 megapixel PTZ camera, I've received several questions about its ranges. So today we're going to come up with some solid numbers and review the minimum and maximum ranges of each of the following. Panning and tilting right and left, tilting up and down, optical zoom, digital zoom, and the pan, tilt and zoom minimum and maximum speeds. For these tests I have a camera temporarily installed on my deck at 7 feet high. It's 25 feet away from my patio door and 75 feet away from my shed and it's installed as it should be with the dome facing the ground. To control the PTZ camera I'll log into the camera's web interface using Internet Explorer and use the control panel which is located on the right hand of the screen on the live view tab. The footage will be recorded at 15 frames per second using blue iris. First off we have panning right and left. So remember for this the camera doesn't spin all the way around 360 degrees. There's a stop point at the 350 degree mark. I've written the word back right here on my camera to show the area that the camera does not cover. I'm showing this because you don't want that near your surveillance area. You want to keep that against a wall or a post otherwise you're going to get frustrated having to swing the camera all the way around every time. So here's how the camera looks with the dome off. You can see it goes back and forth back and forth and it doesn't cover that little area on the back. And here's a look outside of the camera when it's all the way to the right. The tilt here is at 20 so we avoid seeing the base of the camera in the shot because we're at a zoom of zero. Here we're pan all the way to the left and I'll fast forward in these examples. And here's a screenshot comparing both and you can see how much of the shot that you're missing from that 10 degrees. Second of all we're looking at tilting up and down. For this example we're going to start the camera here with a tilt of zero. Now normally you're going to see the base here because we're zoomed out and if you were zoomed in you would no longer see it in the shot. Here outside we would go from the lowest tilt of zero all the way up to the highest which is 90. Next we want to look at optical zoom. For the optical zoom test we're going to zoom in as far as the camera will allow me which is four times. This is similar to comparing a 2.8 millimeter camera all the way up to a 12 millimeter camera. So next, let's talk about digital zoom. Digital zoom is not mechanical. There is no optics moving. It's simply taking the existing image and cropping it. So to set your camera up for this, you're going to need to go into your camera setup on the Live View page. Click on the menu button and then navigate down to digital zoom and then change the maximum value to, let's, let's do 64 in this case. So as I zoom in here you can definitely see the image get pixelated. I normally don't use digital zoom because it doesn't really make a lot of sense in zooming. It's kind of a silly feature to go all the way into 64 and the quality is just sucks at that range. And lastly let's look at the pan tilt and zoom minimum and maximum speeds. This is the speed at which the camera pan tilts and zooms and it's configurable so let's look at how to do it and then test it out. So here's where the value is set. It's on the configuration PTZ basic setting basic parameter and manual control speed. The zoom speed is set just below this. So let's go through each of these and time them and see how long each of them takes from one extreme to the next. I'll also try panning and tilting at the optical zoom of 4 to see if they are slower than 0. I would expect the pan and tilt actions to be a little slower while zoomed in so the world doesn't pass by too fast and you get confused with what you're looking at. First of all let's look at the compatible setting. The full pan at zero zoom takes 19 seconds and the full tilting action takes 9. But when we're zoomed in to 4 times, the times are just about double at 38 and 22. We do the exact same scenario with all four modes at the same time on the screen. In the upper left hand corner we have pedestrian, then non-motor vehicle, motor vehicle and finally auto. These are equally fast forwarded. Let's compare the 0 to 350 pan at 0 zoom. Now the 0 to 90 tilt at 0 zoom. Next the 0 to 350 pan at 4 times zoom. And finally the 0 to 90 tilt at 4 times zoom. Here is a look at the results.
So looking at these numbers, auto is obviously the fastest and pedestrian is the slowest. If you need to pan or tilt a large distance, you're better off zooming all the way out to zero and then zooming in once you've reached your correct pan or tilt destination. So now let's have a look at how fast the cameras zoom. They don't have fancy names here, they just use numbers from one to three. So that's not bad, three seconds of zoom all the way from 2.8 millimeters to 12. That's pretty good, I think I'll leave my setting here. All right guys, that covers my limit testing on this Hikvision Mini PTZ security camera. For more information on this camera, please check out my blog at newfieport.com. And if you found this presentation helpful, please like it by giving it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos as I release them, please subscribe to my channel.